Okay, this is part two where I'm going to show you how to make the ringtone. Um, I'm actually going to have you just copy timbre one onto timbre two since most of the settings are the same. Um, we lose our name, but we'll just go right in and change it to ringtone. Um, also, make sure to put that back on channel three. Okay. Um, one thing I forgot to mention in the last video, um, I want you to do a serial filter and essentially make like a custom bandpass filter to band limit the signal. Because um, as of right now, uh, let me switch to timbre two. Uh, make sure to, that timbre two is highlighted on the front of the radius while you're editing. Uh, uh, use, um, let's, just, uh, let's just do a high pass filter and then a low pass filter because I think that's easier to visualize. Um, uh, phones don't have any low end. I mean, it's such a tiny speaker that you're not going to hear any low end whatsoever. Uh, you may want to kind of have like a high fidelity sound if you're putting this in a song. So you might want to keep the low end, but you know, it's just unrealistic. Uh, so grab a high pass filter, throw that all the way up to like 36. And then on the low pass filter, uh, uh, bring it down to like 81. And so you can hardly hear a difference, but it's enough of a difference that, you know, it, it mimics the, the lo-fi or band limited sound of a cell phone or of a, of a dial tone. Um, so now that we have that, let's use a uh, square plus wave to actually, you know what, before I get to that point, let's, let's change this tone to a ringtone. Um, I find the easiest way to do it is to use envelope generator three to change the pitch of oscillator two, because what we're trying to do with oscillator two is, um, if we refer back to our Wikipedia page for the, for the ring back tone is change oscillator two to 480 Hertz. Um, cause we just want to keep this one at 440 since, since we already have that at, uh, 440. So, um, um, so let's use envelope generator, generator three to change oscillator two pitch and change that to plus 23, I believe. Okay, now we have the sound of ringing, but we don't have the rhythm of ringing. I looked up a YouTube video on uh, the sound of ringing just to hear the the how how long the pauses were um, between the rings and how long the rings themselves were. The closest that I got to mimicking it um, was using LFO2 uh, plugged into the amp and then we want to turn that all the way down so it'll sound like that and then of course we want to change the frequency to um, I found point two one hertz was the closest I can get And then also change the shape to minus 10. And you may want to have that synced to the timbre and have the phase on like, um, uh, let's check 180. That way. As soon as you hit the key, it starts on the longest um, interval instead of uh, instead of um, you know starting in like a random place. So you get like a weird interval, like if you had it at uh, at like ninety, for instance, you get a weird short little delay. So just have it on one eighty. And that's all you need to do for that. Um, and then I'll just make another video for uh, part three. By the way, um, I got this uh, tutorial from from two places. I got to give credit to Brian Trifonic, who uh, who has this project called Trifonic that's really good. And then um, check out uh, "Kill the Noise," the song. Um, I'll link it in the description. He uses like all these telephone sounds. It's like really neat. Um, I'll uh, this video. I'll just link the. Uh, the YouTube video on like, uh, and the, and maybe Brian's, uh, Brian's tutorial. And then I'll link the, uh, the kill the noise song on the, on the last tutorial. All right.